what's up guys welcome back to another video today we are on windows insider for windows 11 and of course a new update was just released that added a few cool little things into windows 11 including snappy 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 performance uh things are a lot better than they were the previous build and let's go over what's changed to start off with, the start now has a search box to make it easier to find what you're looking for. So as you can see, it's right here up top. And if we hit Winver, we'll end up getting the build information right here. So as you can see, it's just a 0.65 update. Uh, it is nothing like a huge build update, but it does provide a lot of fixes. And I love it. So again, the start menu now has a search button that's pretty cool and another thing that's really cool is you can right click here go to taskbar okay you can go down to taskbar behaviors and when you do this it will show up now on all monitors so to do this i'm actually going to show you my other monitors real quick i know this is weird to do but uh okay note to self disable that as you can see it's on that one and on the other monitor, it's there too. Not just my primary monitor. All right, so now that we showed you that, in a really weird way, I'm turning it off because I find that it's just too messy to have that on. And on to the next thing. So they've updated several system alert dialog boxes, such as the alert for when the battery is running low on your laptop. That's cool. So it has the new Windows 11 visual design. I don't have a laptop, all right? Sorry about that, I can't really show you that, but I can show you the next thing, which is this. When we click here, you'll notice that there's more stuff. And yeah, right now I have it currently set to use a different power plant. Main reason because this still does not include the AMD Ryzen power plant, which it should, and the ultimate performance power plant which I'm hoping it does in the future. So I'm gonna go give more feedback after this video so that I can get this uh, a little bit better because there's all this space and there's a lot of stuff you can do for power management in Windows and hopefully they'll add it all back in. So on to the next one is when you actually do this. Hit refresh, look at that. No, right clicking the desktop directly has a refresh option without needing to click the short motion the show more options button my god look at that so there's refresh now that's been added in now another one is if we go and create a ps1 file so that is a powershell one we can open it and run the powershell which is pretty cool so it will open it will run if there's anything or if it's an actual script that's not a script though okay all right, we're getting through this pretty quick. Available snap layouts when using smaller PCs in portrait orientation has been optimized for that posture. You can now choose to snap three apps on top of each other. Uh, so instead of four quadrants, so that's pretty cool. I can't show you that either. I don't have a small PC to work with. Based on collaboration with the most popular GIF provider in uh, China, which is some weird name. Uh, GIF selections are now available for Windows Insiders in China via the emoji panel. How cool is that? Right clicking the volume icon in the taskbar now includes the option to troubleshoot sound. So boom, it's right there. That was very, very useful to add because people were having sound issues. So next, taskbar has had a ton of stuff fixed, so up settings. And I'm going to leave all of that for you guys in the description because I don't want to make too long of a video. I want to keep it nice, sweet, and short. So I have a nice article that I like to point to for this information because they sum it up very nicely. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you did and I hope you enjoyed and found this video very informative. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe. Uh, it means a lot to me. I'm pushing forward to 20,000 subscribers and every little bit helps. So I'll see you guys in the next video when the next Windows Insider drops and I'll go over some of the coolest stuff. Bye for now.